Today we're going to learn how to make salt baked chicken from scratch in a restaurant connected to a temple and eat at the amazing Malaysian street food that you might not have heard of. Hi, it's Sarah from New Malaysian Kitchen. I've just arrived at a restaurant specializing in salt baked chicken. <laughs> As we're getting close to the restaurant, there are a lot of eateries everywhere. Ooh, this patai! So, we are at Jinjang today. Interestingly, the restaurant is connected to a temple. Right in the back. Come on, let's go. Outside of the restaurant. I'm here early and right now they are marinating the chicken. Customers could order a whole bird or just the leg. They place all the seasonings on the table. What I can smell strongly of now is wine and black pepper. Before the chicken is marinated, the master cooks it with a fork so that the spices will seep into the meat easily. Let's find out what spices are used to marinate them. Black pepper is one of the more obvious ingredients. It's freshly blended, poured into a container, and then generously sprinkled over the chicken leg or stuffed into the cavity of a whole bird, which you'll see in a minute. People are wearing a mask, but I can smell the wine is very strong. I'm going to ask what else they're putting inside. The two types of wine that they're using is Xiaoxing wine and a regular white wine. I'm amazed to find that they use a few different types of wine to marinate the chicken. They truly do not skim on good ingredients. This is a family run business and you can tell that they really enjoy wine. Marination for the whole bird is a bit different. Check in the cavity of the chicken, now he's putting in all the spices inside. Puts in salt and naturally some ajinomoto which is expected in Malaysian street food. Then they sprinkle Sarawak white pepper all over the whole bird. Angelica root tong huang. It's normally quite big when I use it to boil soup but now that I've pressed it and make it smaller. This is just one of the 15 herbs and spices in their secret recipe. Subscribe over here and click the bell button at the side so you don't miss any Malaysian street food videos. Now it's time to wrap the whole chicken in baking paper and aluminium foil. The white wine mixture goes in, and then the water, and finally, Xiaosheng wine. Let's go to the kitchen to see how the master picks the perfect bird for his signature salt baked chicken or yim bok dai. The birds are carefully selected. Only the best looking ones are used to make salt baked chicken. Why it's that? Let's find out. if you want a simple recipe using a whole chicken, check out this video. Once it's wrapped in a foil like this, we are ready to bake it. Now we're heading to the stove to bake this 1kg chicken and the chicken legs. Wow, look at that! Wow, I missed this! It's amazing! At the 
back of me is four big stoves, all fired with gas. But I see charcoal here as well. I'm gonna ask them what it's for. 鹽味嘅，咁大嚿嘅一個鹽，天然嘅，天然嘅，可以唔可以？呢、这個係嘅鹽，哦、oh. oh, ，pure salt， 哇、oh. wow. ，天然嘅冇加工嘅 ，it's not adulterated， it's natural and it's quite huge， the beads are like the size of my fingernail。After putting a layer of what I think is a combination of salt, charcoal, and stones, he arranged all the packed chicken into the gigantic wok. Then he tops it up with another layer of salt mixture. Now he's ready to cover the wok and fire the stove. Let's find out how long he's going to bake these chicken for. 一個小時兩個字，一個小時兩個字大嘅，細嘅咧，細嘅八個字啫。While waiting for the salt baked chicken, we'll see how to make another popular dish, ginger chicken. Firstly, they chop chicken that are not pretty enough for salt baked chicken into small pieces. Fry the ginger until golden brown before putting the chicken in. Then pour in Chinese rose wine or mui guai lo. Mix well before putting in water and dark soy sauce. Gonna braise it for ten minutes. Pour in Shaoxing wine and dish it out once the sauce is thick. So now the chicken are ready. We're gonna take it out. Mr. Liu carefully dusts away dirt on the chicken and put them into a polystyrene container to keep them warm. Can you get it over? Okay. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. The temperature of the stove is 200 Celsius. Mr. Liu says that on hot days, this place is like a sauna. The heat is so powerful that over time, it burned through the wok. If you can't eat a whole chicken, it's okay. You have a choice of a smaller parcel. But personally, I'll get the whole chicken. There are some differences I'll show you at the end of the video. It's a bit hot. My mother loves salt baked chicken, so I'm gonna order one and send it to her later. <laughs> Yuba? Happy Restaurant is located at a residential area called Jinjiang. It was notorious for gangsterism in the 1960s, but is now known for its good food. You won't miss this place because it's right next to a big red temple. Almost there. Just there. Now I'm heading home to have salt baked chicken for lunch. But before that, I'll take you to another place selling the salt baked chicken that my mother has eaten for years. Now we're heading to the next shop. Over here, you can get food famous in Ipoh, such as Yong Tau Fu. It also sells all kinds of noodles, such as Pohi. Right now, he's making Hakka noodles with rice noodles and minced meat. This brand is famous in Ipoh and my mom is shocked to discover that it's also oh, sold in KL. How much is it? Let me tell you. This is what we wanted. Thank you. It's cold. He suggests that if you're not eating on the same day, it's best to get the cold one and steam it later. I've also bought a rare dessert.
This dessert is called Wan Tao Long. Mmm, no good. Ah, huh? oh, try it. Okay. Let's. This shaved ice with jelly. Mmm. I like it. It's sourish. Mm. And I got shimui. That is salted plum. The combination is good. For me? Yeah. Look what I've got. Wow. Okay. Wantao long. Mm hmm. What is wantao long, mommy? Yeah, I also got mommy. <laughs> On top of the salt baked chicken, you can also get this dessert and extra snacks. It's best to get a frozen chicken and steam it yourself because the chicken texture will become coarse if it's preheated. Now we'll wait for 10 minutes. I'll show you the Ipo salted chicken first. Soon we'll try the Jinjiang one and compare. Mmm, look at that. Can you see the steam? The best part of the chicken is the drumstick. Mm. It's not soft like the usual chicken that you get from the supermarket. This is kampung chicken, so it's tougher and more flavorful. It's a bit hard to bite. You really have to pull it with your teeth. I found a piece of tong quite inside. This is Angelica root. <laughs> Let's try the juice. Mm. Salty herbal taste. Nice to pour over the chicken. You want to want the meat to absorb the juice. Otherwise, it's going to taste bland. How is it? All right. Do you like this one or the Jinjiang one? This one is just salt. So you prefer has some sort of taste. something extra inside as well. The Jinjiang salted chicken is so good that I sent it to my mom. Let's see what she has to say. Mom told me that she's used to the original Ipo salted chicken, but she ate a lot of these too. I ate the whole drumstick. I still like the Ipo one better lah. Because you're from Ipo? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I'm better. I used to have that one and all for so long already. Come in. Unlike my mom, I prefer the salt baked chicken from Jinjiang. Wow, look at this. The fragrance is amazing. You can smell the pepper, the wine and the herbs. Now it's time to eat. This salt baked chicken is so much juicier. Closely at the color of the chicken. I love the golden yellow sheen. It looks so appetizing. This is so good. Because of the amount of sauce in it, it is perfect to eat with rice and steamed vegetables. I can't get enough of the sauce. Put it all over the rice and the chicken. For more street food videos, check out this playlist. See you there. We finish our salted chicken, so we take remove the meat and then we use the bone to make some uh, herbal soup. It's very nice. <laughs>